the last game of today if there are no tiebreakers but we are here with the last game of the chinese regional qualifiers for the international 2018 it's uh it's been pretty uh heavily contested these last few days and uh we're here with the last seconds, game if not the last few games of uh the bracket invictus gaming versus young dumb i'm lysander gonna be joining you guys remaining. for your english broadcast and of course uh we're already into the bands here with warlock being taken out doom being removed and you know we won't be seeing lycan for this game and i'm not going to complain i uh i'm getting a little bit bored of seeing that hero want to see a little switcheroo we got Night Stalker and Wisp being removed as well. We got um, third bang coming in. It's going to be the Disco Pony. So Last Strike will be taking a seat here and uh, not joining us for today's action. Oh. We'll see what uh, what they can do about this. Right now, it's, uh, it's a very interesting situation to be in. Invictus Gaming, they got... Uh, I got some picks down the line that might uh, might surprise everyone. You know, after all, young dumb, I believe, are out Five of. Uh, seconds remaining. I believe young dumb are out of uh, out of the running for TI. But Invictus Gaming, they have to win this if they want to avoid a tiebreaker situation. So, it is in everyone's best interest for them to, yeah, win this game. So Invictus Gaming, if they win this, you know, IG, wow, it's IG's Ferrari's old team, well, old brand old team but uh yeah if they win this you know they're true they're safe but if they lose this might be forcing a potential tiebreaker situation so this game does have stakes it doesn't have stakes for young dumb but it does have stakes for invictus so no we still gotta we still gotta be a little bit serious here they got open with a clockwork first pick so that's um slightly unorthodox i'm not gonna lie maybe just gonna hide their strategy for a bit but it does lock down a lot of the rather popular picks these few days uh, Clockwork being able to isolate heroes like Bane, isolate heroes like, I guess, Sand King to an extent. Yeah, there are a lot of good targets you can lock down with Clockwork, and he, he makes a lot of space denial in the fights. So if you have some good AoE to splash around, he's your guy. Let's see what uh, they respond with. Gonna be Naga, okay. Pretty basic stuff. Naga doesn't like getting caught by Clockwork, though, that much I can tell you. Let's see what else Young Dumb decide to do. Uh, grab another hero for Ferrari, of course. He hasn't had the Invictus swellest Games of times. Uh, he, oh, there we go. A Potom. Finally, we get ourselves a Potom. And Snare into Arrows. And, uh, you know, I've been hearing so much about Marana. I have not actually seen Marana being played here. So, yeah, the Princess of the Moon is going to be snagged up here today. We'll see what the second pick here is for IGV Clockwork. Hmm... I want to say Lena is solid here. Ten seconds Lena, remaining. Clockwork, good synergy. Maybe even go for something like a Storm Spirit. Five Zeus. Seconds remaining. Uh, might be good. Thunder God's Wrath, Clockwork to Chase. You know, it's, it's not out of the question, but I guess you want to pick something more meta in the first two picks of your draft. So let's see what it is. I would love to see something like a Legion Commander. She just got a new amazing set, this compendium. The Cavern set. Oh, man. I am a fan. Big fan of Legion Commander, a huge fan of the hats. Huge fan. Well, again, we gotta see what is the deal here. What are they going to be grabbing up? 50 seconds left on that timer, Invictus Gaming. Well, 40 seconds left. Young Dumb. It's got that uh, Mirana for us to enjoy, but you know, Legion Commander take away those arrows. Nice. Maybe a Shadow Invictus Demon. Shenanigans some Luna. PL. All right, it's gonna be PL. Lots of uh, PL love. There's a uh, this qualifier. Phantom Lancer Clockwork. All very solid things. All right, fifteen seconds to go. Ten seconds remaining. Dire team back. Amber Spirit. Okay. It's gonna be the ban out. Yeah. Typical stuff, you know, you know, the burn away. Phantom Lancer. Doesn't really like too much AoE, so you wanna try and limit that as far as possible. And one of the more meta ones, of course, being the Amber Spirit. Ten seconds remain in Victus Gaming. See what it is. Oh, Dragon Knight ban. being banned out. Can't say I disagree. Dragon Knight, a pretty solid choice. 
for sieging as well as AoE, that long duration stun on his Dragon Tail, very powerful as well. Used to be uh, what they call instant or hit scan, but uh, now a projector. Still fast enough, still powerful enough to be a threat, and uh, they will sit it out. Ten they don't want to have remaining. to deal with that. What, what's the next band Five here coming out here remaining. for IG? Going to have to see. And it will be the Underlord. Okay, I haven't seen that guy in a bit, but uh, they decided to ban it anyway. Don't want to have any counter pushing options. Underlord, very good at that counter push. Uh, you have to be more concerned about. Dire team pick. So let's see what the deal is. It's going to be a Beastmaster ban. Yeah, I have been, uh, have been seeing quite a bit of him as well. So maybe we'll get some less meta heroes this round. Ten Clockwork. seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Clockwork. Hmm. Phantom Lancer. What's next? Something set up with the Mirana, I think uh, Ensnare Arrow is great, but maybe they want more. Right now sitting at uh, 55 on that uh, countdown timer, Young Dumb. Can they? Yeah, yeah. Probably gotta be grabbing up that Marana. Could be a switch around. Cafe. Hasn't playing Doom for a bit. You know, maybe now not going to play up the Doom. See if they can get Invictus some. Uh... Gaming's turn to yeah, let's get a bit dropped her again. Alright. Night Stalker has been panned out. A lot of the Roma is being removed. 23 seconds for you guys just tuning in. Of course, uh, if you think, uh, you know, Young Dumb are out of this competition you are absolutely right but Invictus Gaming they need this game they need this win uh, to not have tiebreakers and that is going to be very important for them I think uh, if the tiebreakers going to be a you know more trouble for them dire team pick Bang. so right now we'll have to we'll have to see if uh, if they win and of course on the other other streams as well, we'll see what uh, the other players or the other teams are doing because I think if LFY or IG lose their games, we have a tiebreaker. So, potentially more games. Invictus Gaming's turn to Pain and Lifestealer. Hmm. Bold choice, pick up Lifestealer. Is there going to be an engine for this? Is there a jumper? Storm Spirit, maybe? A Puck, Queen of Pain, something with Blink. Uh, that can help out this life stealer. I like to go for the old school Slada life stealer. That's super good to use. Uh, but Bane Elemental is going to be the lockdown that a life stealer is not going to enjoy. Remaining. Maybe we'll see more for, um, from Invictus. What are they going to pick up here? Five seconds Moving remaining. forward, they do have the option of maybe even a Sand King. I I've been saying Sand King a lot, but no one's been actually picking Sand King. So, maybe not going to be Sand King. Bloodseeker. Bloodseeker is decent. Good against Mirana, good against life stealer. To an extent, blood right strong at holding the line. I think it's a, it's not too out of the ordinary. But they definitely need something else. Dire team bad. Death profit. Okay, some physical damage. Life stealer doesn't have that much armor. Invictus Gaming's turn to ban. Yeah, not that much armor, but uh, life stealer. Young dumb. What's it gonna be? Slaughter would be an ideal one here. Brewmaster? Yeah, it was possible. I think Brewmaster could have been a possibility, but they just want to ban out just in case. Uh, send your guys spinning, send your Naga spinning. 
five seconds remaining. Are they gonna do about the Naga though? Invictus yeah. Gaming's turn to play. Storm Spirit being banned. Okay, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Storm into Life Stealer just makes sure uh, ensures that you lose your death profit uh, double time. So, IG, what are, what are the options here? Do I get a healer? Omni Knight, maybe. I'm just spitballing here. Omni Knight. Something to save the Death Prophet. I think having a lifesaver and a Death Prophet is good. Legion Commander, yes! Alrighty, there we go. Um, This might sound like a meme, but Legion Commander is good against arrows, number one. But she's also very good at, uh, on, on I think, Bobo, no wait, is it Bobo car? Oh. SRF. Okay, it's not. Uh, it's not. It's not gonna be XXS playing it. So, but SRF is going to be playing Legion Commander. And look at those hats, man. Look at those new hats. Zeus is gonna be final pick for Young Dumb. Who cares? We got Legion Commander. Legion Commander, boys and girls. The only question is, do they have the burst damage to ensure those dual wins? But ultimately, it's still great because you have the arrow, the arrow stun removal from uh, press the attack. So I'm excited. Invictus Gaming, the grab of Legion Commander is a game they need to win. And Legion is the one that's going to take them to that win, hopefully. And uh, I'm excited to see some LC, man. Ooh boy, am I hyped. Alright, so we're going to hop into the game now. It's the last game for today. If there are no tiebreakers, there might be the way the brackets are tying there. And right now... We shall see. Okay, let's go. Invictus Gaming on the Radiant side, and we have Young Dumb on the Dire side. Invictus Gaming, good Q on their Bane Elemental. Grassif on their Phantom Lancer. We have Boboka on his Clockwork. SRF, Legion Commander, PL. Uh, no, not PL, oops. Uh, did I miss someone? XSS, it's gonna be playing on the Death Prophet. On the side of the Dire Ferrari, we'll play on the Zeus. And so it's gonna be, I think it's Niwa Chun on the Disruptor. Will be not life stealer and played by Jia Jia. We got Cafe Laku on the Naga Siren. Kaido gonna be the Mirana that's gonna be pairing up with him. So overall, we got some pretty fierce uh, heroes here from both sides. Ferrari Zeus in the middle lane. That's exciting. And uh, not sure what he's doing, dropping those two items behind. Interesting. Thirty seconds to battle. Not really sure why he dropped this null there. Oh. Let's see. Let's see. Kaido. Ooh, a little bit of a fight here. IG. Boboka oh, snatches up the rune, so that's gonna be rune number one, rune number two, so yeah, no no difference. You're just uh, snatching vertical instead of uh, their own respective sides. Overall, nothing too crazy to write home about. Shout out to you guys in chat. You know, tuning in to watch some Chinese Dota. I imagine it's quite late for some of you. It's not too late in China though. Right now it's the uh, middle of the afternoon. All fighting for their TI lives. Yeah, we're gonna get an early fort here. Fort push. Gonna help out with this initial CS. Okay, mid lane now. Alright, Ferrari playing very aggressive. Level 1 lightning bolt as well. Not gonna go for the art lightning. Just gonna go for the bolt. Just wants to get the harassment in. Try and shove it into the enemy's face. Very, very interesting. There we go. Gotta keep our eyes out. Try not to miss that first blood, you know. SRF picking up overwhelming odds in the level one. The hats on this legion, man. Meanwhile, Thunder Strike now sticking for it, losing quite a bit of life. Jaja doesn't have any kind of aggression on him right now. And I'll see. He's gonna have some power coming in. Oh, Boboka traps in Kafilaku. Can get caught out. Not gonna get brought down here. Two melee heroes shouldn't be able to grab him up. Much appreciated. Ooh. Overwhelming odds doing damage, Boboka. Thinking about a barrier assault, they trap him in, and that's a Naga that will be going down. No magic stick keeps him alive, and there's the splash even to help SRF take a little bit more damage from that tower. 
very nicely done and the whole creep wave shoves in maybe radium will pop their fort now nah not gonna happen there so a close shave there in terms of first blood and uh top lane as well very close to dying from both sides very nicely done they're shooting on that cog not panicking and dying and uh getting out of there in time i see you of the juke this should be exciting legion commander I'm gonna see if uh, she can win any duels this game. Need that burst damage to combo up you know, for those cheesy duel wins. XXS though. He's doing pretty well against Zeus. Uh, Ferrari not having the hottest time in this middle lane. We got himself Illusion, so there's a 66 damage uh, damage increase. 66 percent damage increase. It's always nice to have. It helps us to CSing. Ooh, and snare. This could be a nice arrow. Perfect lands it. It's uh, almost five seconds. It's long enough, and that's gonna be first blood. Not taking chances with that. I always speak too fast. Uh, wow. Okay, magic stick. It saves lives. And uh, if Naga had decided to hit it, you know, at least once, would have gotten that kill. Another misplay there. This time from the dire side, gonna be costing them first blood. So we'll be staying bloodless for now. Oh, there's the open wounds, that Q. Ooh, ooh. Gonna get caught out, there's a the sleep. Tia, tia. Gonna trap up Q. That's gonna be first blood. Kaido actually kills off Legion on the offside. And they do get first blood there. But it's still a dire first blood. Nonetheless, Kaido snipes the Legion, but they do grab another kill as well. So that's two heroes down there. Young, dumb, trying their best to force that tiebreaker with this early punch. See if IG can hold the line. Boboka back into the fray. SRF dying there. Definitely not part of the plan. Might want to pick up a point and press the attack. For sure. Denied. Oh, gonna drop a leap. Cog's not gonna work out. Free money. You know, XSS. Ferrari. Okay, we're done. Success with the double damage, and there's a wraparound possibility here from Boboka. Can he find it? Drops an observer ward behind. Dyer scans perfectly. Ferrari knows that something is up. Smells a rat, and immediately sends him packing. But Boboka, man, he clears the creep wave. He goes from the back. He tries to make the easier approach here onto the Dyer side. XXS, he's got three points in Spirit Siphon as well, that's gonna be very powerful, Life Stealer dropping low, gonna be chasing up with Aggressive, but he's about to lose his life, the Sap comes in, that's a kill! Clockwork! Gonna make his way up as well. Look for another kill maybe, eat through the trees, it's a real possibility. Oh, meanwhile, IG, throw a lance over. Boboka picks up the bounty rune. Might just find the disruptor on that retreat. Oh, traps him in. That's a freebie. That's a freebie right there. Damn. Didn't even need to waste barrier assault, but he's not going to take chances. After those two botch kills. XXS, 3-3 now in his spells. Throwing out that wave. Ferrari, uh-oh, siphoned up. Just going to be harassed back a little bit. Chia Chia I have now. Two points in the feast, alright. Open wounds and rage. Bad him. Still lancing him up. Getting that phantom rush a little bit higher. Going low on that on that lance. Don't really have the mana to spam it out. Oh, I hear another fight going on in the middle lane. Ferrari getting tanked out under his tower. Ferrari not even getting a bolt off. Maybe he can get a kill on Bobocar. The tower is doing a lot of work. Oh, stick charges. He's going in for the ancients, baby. Oh, do they get it? That's the end snare. Stick charges into a splash to do the job. They're not going to need it. Keep those stick charges for later. XXS coming in there. Seeking out that disruptor. But there's a slow. And there's a shrine. So they are going to stay safe. IG. They get that revenge kill. Cha cha, gonna have company once again. Got a sap for Q, just harassing him back. Next excess, paroxysm. Crypt Swarm goes out. Bubble car. 
power cogs, battery assault. Ooh, we have a potential situation here. Jia Jia goes in with the rage, charging in onto aggressive, but he's taking too much damage. He's getting swamped around as the Moonlight Shadow trying to keep him safe, but the brain gets sapped out there. But the Moonlight Shadow with the wraparound aggressive has gone for the aggressive doppelganger. So that is that. But uh, this Shopter gets put to sleep. So that will not be any counter kills here. Bobokar, meanwhile, wrapping around for a potential round two. Kaido has made his way down to the middle lane to help out the situation. XXS. Life stealer. That's the second time he's dying now. Not having the best of times there. Q, aggressive, all too strong for him. Too much firepower. Three points in the Phantom Rush. There's a lot of right-click damage. And now Bobo Car gets himself caught out. And with Glimpse, I do not believe he will be escaping from this. Yeah, that's the Glimpse. Throws him out of there. Splashes as well. Maybe he will. Maybe he will. No, no other aggressions coming out here. Alexander is getting all the wrong calls today. Oh, traps him in. They go for the arrow. There you go. Lands it on Bane. That's a sweet and nice one to get. Gonna chase that one down. Now, not gonna risk it this time. But <laughs> the chaos <laughs> coming out as well from the Zeus. Ferrari needs that money, so he's gonna use that ultimate. Zaps it. Get himself some pocket change. It's a sweet amount of gold coming his way. Tia Tia. SRF picks up threads. So get some space in the bottom lane. You know, away from all that harassment. The net into arrows has been pretty disruptive for his farm. But meanwhile, aggressive. Gonna take that time. Farm up a little bit. Ferrari comes up with Invis Rune. Arcanes as well. 20 stick charges here for the Death Prophet. It's gonna be really enjoyable in the next fight. looking at doing diffusal blitz so nothing out of the ordinary Tia Tia going for face boots dying twice there definitely did not do himself any favors and IG waiting for that LC duel man BKB first no blink at all this guy respecting the respecting the game man just wants to juke out a Naga sleep I think yeah most likely but without face boots his uh, solo kill potential is rather low because you're not going to be able to close the gap for those duels. We'll see. From the gods rough, up and available. What's Disruptor looking at here? Nothing. He's poor. Uh oh, sleep. There's the duel possibility. There's the duel. Yep, we're going to duel up Disruptor. Maybe going to glimpse it. Oh, they do a lot of damage, but it's not enough. Oh, Thunder God's Wrath with the Thunder Strike as well. SRF, he's low. Arrow reveals his position. And he's trying to get out of there in time. TP's away. And Fest Bomb pops out. 5 for 5 now to balance up the score. And this is the problem, you know, saying the. LC doesn't really have the burst damage to be able to take those kills. Meanwhile, they lose the Naga Siren to Bobo Car. Uh, IG getting a strike back in return. Aggressive having a good time in this early stage of the game. So at least that's going his way. But still, it's uh, it's, it's very hard for the LC to get any kills there without the burst damage follow up. Usually you have something like a, you know, even a Zeus would be nice, but usually you have something like a Skyrath, ideally one of the best ones for this. But uh, some, some kind of burst damage would be nice. Finger of Death, Laguna Blade. Q. Got three points of the brain sap, two points of the nightmare. Are scanning. Bobokar has that hook shot, but the scan does mark Q. Do they know that he's there? They need to fire an arrow in there to scout, but they, I think they missed it. I think they missed it. Disruptor field goes in for the check, doesn't get it. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Ferrari. Stop the Arcanes. Is under attack. We got aggressive. Four points in the Phantom Rush. Just chopping away. 
But we got Dire Heroes. Oh, might get cut off. Bobo Car. Uh oh, Thunder Gods Rap <laughs> reveals his position. Oh, not a nice situation to be in. They're looking for the end snare. Looking for the pull in. Then he's about to catch up to him. End snare. Uh, he's probably dead anyway. Unless he can hook to the creep wave. Arrow misses. Hook shot. He needs to find it. He wants to look for the hook shot. Is he going to get it? No, oh, they glimpse him. They glimpse him. So he's dead. What a Thunder Gods Rap. <laughs> oh, man. That, that was unfortunate. Trying to go for a, a little bit of sneaky beaky plays. Shadows, take us. All right, Moonlight Shadow coming in. Oh, do they see the Zeus? Sentry Ward a tad late, a tad late. Meanwhile, PL getting himself caught out. Young Dumb really putting the screws here. They do blew up aggressive. <laughs> and that's him going down to 6 to 7 now. Young Dumb. Comes out of a situation. Doing well in this early stage. 12 minutes in, let's bring up the net worth. 5,006 for PL, 5,004 for the Death Prophet. So they're still doing well in terms of money. Can they uh, keep this advantage? This tier 1 tower most likely gonna crash. Not much can do about this. Ferrari lower mana as well. Maybe you can go for the deny. No. Cha Cha, going for Radiance. Okay, can't say. I can't say. I I agree after the bad start he's been having, but maybe he's uh, trusting his teammates to hold the line long enough. Oh. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. There. Legion has come to his senses. Gonna grab Radiant's up the blink dagger first. Under attack. Thank you. Would really suck to see that uh, go wrong. Radiant's Kaido. bottom tower has fallen. He's got himself a javelin now. You know, at success. Bubble car. Just camping in the side there. God's Wrath is ready again. So it's a good chance of a scout. Coming forward. PL, very close to his defusal. Kaido. Song comes to slow the wave down. The Zeus got just arcane boots rushing up that Nimbus on the Agadim Scepter. Can't see I blame him, it's a very powerful ability. Gets the ward there. One of the side perks of running a Zeus. So, okay, Haste Rune. Pick that one for the Zeus, maybe? Nope, never mind. XXS. Gonna grab that one up. So, let's go. We've reached a rather. Slow phase in the mid game. The early the early laning stage was uh, pretty chaotic, and then after that, they they, they turned down the aggression to uh, to a five, chill back, enjoy the sights. You get that twenty five percent XP again. Yeah, more EXP for Zeusy. Get himself more damage, more talents. His talents are actually really good. We're gonna grab those up. See what he can work with. SRF. Q, meanwhile. Oh, car. Still hasn't really got a chance to use his hook shot yet. Oh, Blink Dagger, hello. Legion Commander, maybe it's time to get some dual damage, yeah? See if you can get anything done here, Jia Jia. He's got that infest. Birds flying in, takes out the Observer Ward. I hear an arrow. Nope. Just the farm neutrals. Playing carefully. Oh, Thunder God's Wrath. Once again, gonna be hitting them. But uh, that's before the smoke, though. So at least there's that. I don't think they are going to use it now. Not too early, anyway. Death Prophet's gonna show. And uh, they're gonna smoke together? No, nope, no smoke together. Looking for the disruptor will be nice, I think. And so Lancer goes back to the middle lane. Farm it up. SRF. Gonna make this one work. Blade Mill on the way. That's gonna be solid against Zeus. 
But the Young Dama wrapping around themselves. They see a juicy target in the middle lane. It's going to be Q. It's going to be aggressive. Moonlight Shadow gets deployed. Sentry Ward scouts this out right away. This jig is up. Yeah, they see this coming from a mile away. They're backing off. Death Prophet gets a tier 2 tower without committing an ultimate. It's always nice to have. Boom. Radiance middle tower is uh, under that moonlight attack. pretty much blown. Smoker to see it going out now. Get hyped for the first duel. Are scanning. Dire scans, not gonna find anything. Bottom Radiance lane unattended. Bottom that's going to uh, that's gonna raise some warning signs for sure. PL on this way there to get some frags in, maybe put them at ease. That's the Thunder God's Wrath immediately detecting that something is off. And they'll all stick on the high ground together, not risking a duel. And Legion Commander will continue damageless in this game. But IGV are starting to climb up to a 3k advantage. Sticking together does have the negative side effects. Young Dumb are paying for it. They got a relic on the Tia Tia Lifestealer now. It will do a decent amount of damage too. And the blind is good, I guess. But it does not protect him from the Death Prophet. It doesn't protect him from a duel as well. It can get scary for the Lifestealer, which only just a Radiance to speak of. Dyer's bottom tower is under FXS, attack. BKB on the way. They're still sticking. They're gonna lose a lot of money. Look at this. 9,000 on both sides now. But they keep sticking. Afraid to make any... Dyer's bottom tower afraid to make any sudden moves. Maybe here we come. They're gonna look for aggressive. Immediate jump away. Disrupt them. Botches that ulti right away. That's unfortunate. Meanwhile, Naka is still in this behind this clockwork. They're all on the look for him. That's an arrow. Don't even need that ensnare, but they'll take it anyway. There is it. There you go. Tracking him down. BKB completed here for XXS. He wants to go for a blink dagger. Interesting choice. Blink does destroy stuff like Ensnare though. So I guess that's nice. Still a duelist legion. Feels bad, man. Marana has gotten Maelstrom and Dragonlance. She's uh, becoming quite the powerhouse in terms of damage. She can put out quite a lot of damage. Thunder God's Wrath reveals everything again. So there's a Glorified Scout at this point, Ferrari. Enemy getting farmed. Incoming. We haven't got any kills. Give me some kills! Wanna see a duel win? A gift from the Tempest of Battle. The wages of fear. Double damage. damage. It's a potentially good situation. So, Siren Force stuff, yeah, gotten quite a bit of time to uh, amass some resources, and now we get the smoke, but there's a Thunder God's Wrath again, so... This one's gotta be real snappy. They gotta find the enemy fast, and lock him down. And with double damage, it's possible- oh, they might be feeling- the they're seeing their first dual win here. That's the rocket, so immediately... Pinged away. Thunder God's Wrath reveals everything again. The Observer War gets tagged as well, and that's unfortunate. Here comes the push. I guess if you can't take uh, any kills, just push. Oh, 
Mass TP's down to the middle lane. Oh, there's a life stealer in an ancient. Well, I guess uh, that, that was the meme he was uh, working on, that Radiance, but uh, Ancients can be slept now, and that's a problem. Tia Tia's in trouble. There's the duel. We might be looking up first duel win. Smack him down, taunt him. That's a winner! I was just a little bit too excited for a duel, but it's the first one. I was wondering why everyone was TPing in. But oh, 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 Naga, 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 trying to get himself out of trouble. That one's not going to work out for you, fam. And now, Roshan is next on the menu. They're going to eat in there, and suddenly, they turned up the action to 11. 8, 8, 2,000 gold ahead. Roshan on the menu for dinner. They're going to get that. The arrow just bounces off. Wow. Roshan going to fall. The Nimbus, though, tagging down the LC low. Are we going to see a contest? No, we're not. Okay, we're not. We're not. We're going to see... Big fight here from IG. Young, young, uh, young, what's his name's? Young Dumps. <laughs> ja Ja memeing with the ancients. Well, got himself caught out there. Now he's got himself a black dragon. Maybe he can try that one. Probably not gonna do that again. Here we go. Smoked out Young Dumb. Oh, yeah. Look for kills. SRF. I'm gonna walk right into the Naga Siren though. Breaks the smoke. Oh, this could be bad. Blink away. Nope, too late. Oh, nice use of the God's Wrath. They find him with the Nimbus as well. So, at least that's going well for them. Gets disintegrated there. IG lose their Legion Commander for 39 seconds. Nice little catch. Land the God's Wrath into Glimpse back. Can appreciate that kind of ability. Disruptor. Magic wand. Uh oh. Caught out with the siphon soul. And put to sleep. He's dead. He's very dead. Rocket snaps the kill as well. Bobo car with the 10 slash 10 KS ability. What's aggressive looking at? He's got mantle. He's got defusals. Going for the heart now. He's got lots of damage on the line. 250 health as well. Didn't go for Spirit Lance damage. Kind of wish uh, more people played the Aghanim upgrade for PL. It's a fun little build. Nothing too serious, but it's fun. It's very fun. Black Dragon memes again. It's good for clearing the wave though. It's a nice shell as well to keep him secure, but right now, it's not the... Not the safest shell. It used to be when uh, they were more resilient, but now not so much. But it does allow him to farm while he's hiding inside. That's what the Radiance is for. It's got the movement speed now. Nirana, Neonia. Building into some seriously powerful weapons right now. Could have uh, grabbed the Thunder Hide. Give uh, Frenzy to Marana. Can really output a lot of deeps. Boboka hasn't really gotten any hook shots in yet, but he might get yeah, the opportunity point. soon. Uh, there's an observer wa watching this uh, general location, so it's very possible. They could tag this. Aegis already secured, so maybe they play a little bit more fierce. BKB and a hood on the Death Prophet. Oh, they see the Black Dragon again. Possibility to push into this, maybe. The Black Dragon just burning everything away, the Radiance. It's nice. Farm machine without having to worry too much about... Rock it on. Not having to worry too much about it. And tanking the creep wave as well. No. <laughs> Even getting a deny. But this Black Dragon is one of the more derpy dragons I've seen. But, yeah. Win some, lose some. Getting the kill bad. Oh, Kaido losing his life there. Dual victory. 28 damage now. Didn't add up. Too busy looking. Dragons, guys. My bad.
regeneration. SRF BKB. Next on the line, Thunder God's Wrath reveals this. Oh no, Lifesteal is in trouble. They're trying to back him up. Disruptor <laughs> goes with the optimistic glimpse, but immediately there is the grip here from Q. Maybe they keep the Lifesteal alive. He's still alive. The hook shot comes in for that final lockdown. The BKB ensures that XXS does not get stopped by the Nimbus in any way. And they're going to look for the Disruptor, and he's not looking too good in a situ of a situation. <laughs> Gets yulled up, pushed, pulled, and killed. XXS. Having a solid time on this uh, Death Prophet and uh, Life Stealer really taking too many chances with those ancient shells of his. Uh, just staying inside it. IG doing their damage to keep this out of a tiebreaker situation. And they're doing a good job. Young Dumb are crumbling. They're, I mean, you, you could say they're memeing a little bit. But, uh, you know, that'll be unfair to say, right? They're doing a pretty legit strategy. It's not like it hasn't been done before. Aggressive has a heart of Tarask. Q, Tranquils, Enchanted Mango. Got a Jatya building a Medallion of Courage. Probably a Solar Crest after Ferrari. What's he at? Aghanims and Four Staff. Okay. 6,000 lead here for IG. 7,000 gold. Incoming. Nice. Alright, what's aggressive at? Going for the BKB now. XXS. Shiva's guard on the way. Gonna make him even more unkillable than he already is now. Another smoke here from Young Dumb. Alright, we got an Ancient Granite Golem. More health for everybody. Let's see if it pays off in any way. They do have the Thunder God's Wrath though. They're wrapping around. Okay. I feel like they might be walking to their own deaths. Have they seen the items on this PL? Even has a double damage. This is a bad time to go in, but hey, if they trap five men in, could be great. They glimpse back to the Bane Elemental. All right, that's a snipe. That's a snipe. Still counts. Still counts. Thunder God's Raft into a glimpse. Can't say I've seen that very often, but it, it works when it works. Getting some static field damage. Yeah, definitely need that. Oh, meanwhile, Clockwork eats an arrow. There's a glimpse back onto the PL as well. Aggressive. All right, right after I praise them, they lose two quick heroes. IG. Mm -hmm. Keeping it as interesting. Keeping this interesting. Legion Commander. Blade Mail, Blink. Power Treads. He was got complete, so that's uh that's misses unkillable there. SRF is waiting in the jungle and maybe try and get a cute snipe here, maybe on Kaido. Very unlikely it's gonna happen. Once again. Play it chill. Has the Nimbus deployed there? Eh? Young Dumb has their carry sitting inside an ancient again. Ferrari. Don't do it, Ferrari. Oh, Ferrari. No, no, no. Hey, okay. Boba Car. A little bit uh, concerned with uh, having the Zeus up in his face. Got to avoid trapping him, trapping him in. There is a four star from Ferrari as well, so I don't know why I was so concerned. BKB on the way here for the PL. They got a lot of burst damage. That part is uh, for sure. Then. Here we go. Uh oh, aggressive. Gonna walk right into them, but with the moonlight shadow as well. Can they get him though? It's gonna be a tall task. Then there is the Manta. Yeah, they got him. Yeah, the PL is dead. Aggressive is down. Oh man, a three-man hook shot. But they all force out of there. Can they get out of there in time? They duel the Naga. That's a key one to get. 
right away. Can they get him? Yes, they do. Boboka dropping low to this POTM. Is it going to be enough? Life Stealer gets himself just gripped and removed from the fight. And now Ferrari in a lot of trouble because they bought back on it. Ferrari, no, that's not where you want to stand. The butterflies are here. <laughs> no. They munch away at his butt and they take him out. And uh, Disruptor on his way out. But uh, bought back PL is very angry. Fish spears him. Jia Jia buys back into the game. Not sure for what. He's down low here on that net worth chart. Meanwhile, Death Prophet is just sitting around reaping the benefits. It's not been a difficult game for him. He's just been chilling. End of the game, you can't imagine. He would type GG easy. Coming in. Pipe uh, coming up here for the clockwork. You know, with the with this lead, they are very comfortable now. Just get further ahead, get that Roshan, get that Aegis Cheese, and then maybe just start rolling in for the base. It's about 32 minutes in, they got time. They're not too concerned about a timer here. Ooh, SRF. Feeling cheeky. Ooh, blinking. Duel. Oh, they got the duel in, and that's gonna hurt the Mirana so much. Nice little duel win there. 56 now. I'm gonna start counting those. Good bit of uh, good bit of dual damage, good bit of money, and of course you take out the Mirana, which is a big deal. You know what we had here, Young Dumb, Ferrari. Dueling to an NA to Lens. I won't say it's too late, but Man, this PL monster right now. 500 Phantom Rush damage. Get the Aghanims. Come on. But I guess there aren't enemy he enough heroes to create that many illusions. So, probably not. But the Aghanims is funny though. I gotta I gotta admit. With all the cooldown reduction, if you get all the... No, okay. They used to be cooldown reduction. I mean, uh, if you get the Spirit Lance, man, it can be so fun. Just tossing those out every few seconds. SRF, that King Bar on the way. Yeah, wants to stay safe from lightning storms. Both the static as well as the bolt kind. Naga going for a Ghost Scepter, going for the Academy Scepter too. Wants to heal up his friends. See how useful that turns out to be. 40% XP gain. Bane activated his uh, extra EXP. Okay, Moonlight Shadow. Let's see this happen. Let's see this. Can they do it right this time? It's gonna be so hard to kill this. Kill this Death Prophet. Even the 5 second arrow, I don't think it's gonna happen. They have a Legion there, just for the heals. Eat the 5 second arrow. He's gonna eat it, and that's gonna be a bait of epic- No, okay, he doesn't- Hey, he doesn't buff his friend. Alright. Alright, LC. Alright, I thought this was gonna be a great bait, but turns out it was just a meme. And uh, now we have Phantom Lancer being caught as well, but there is no Static Storm for him. There's the arrow, perfect, perfect. Oh, BKB. Nope, not perfect. Disruptor's gonna pay the price now. Yep, you guys uh, done goofed, maybe. Nope, they wrap around onto the lifesteal. They're gonna chuck it down, and Kaido gets himself dual. He melts himself. Oh, and the overwhelming odds as well. Legion doing big damage. Jia Jia trying to do his best there, chopping aggressive, but there's so many to steal life from. He doesn't know which one gets himself stabbed down. Nimbus gets deployed. Someone is sleeping in the middle of the fight here. And it looks like this disruptor is gonna be sent home in a body bag. 20 to 13. I really thought Death Prophet was going to be healed out of that stun. But uh, turns out LC was feeling uh, other plans. So, not gonna happen. Rush is up. Double damage here. This is gonna be nice for the PL. It's gonna run all the way down to bottom to get it. LC not really healed up enough to do this yet. Ferrari back in the fray. Gonna work towards his blink dagger. Double damage. Still a rough game. Legion going in again with the duel. Look at these easy duels. 92 now. It's getting scary. It's getting scary. Here we go. Going in to that Roshan. Cheese and Aegis this time around. And this one means that they are going high ground with it. Probably gives the cheese over to aggressive. Oh, Aegis, over to aggressive, XXS, take the cheese. We'll see. Yeah. 
TL grabbing Aegis. That's gonna be nice for him. It's gonna make this fight infinitely more difficult for Young Dum now. Ferrari. Free. 500 away from his blink dagger. Arcane rune gets spotted out. LC maybe wants that? Nah, it's gonna be on Death Prophet. That's gonna be a value exorcism. Don't think Oz Wrath are gonna pull back the Death Prophet. Yeah, Nimbus. Okay, careful. Oh wait, gonna heals herself up. And there's the BKB. Yep, we're gonna deploy the BKB. It was all just a bait. We're gonna deploy the cheese as well. They're gonna go for the sleep retreat. Yeah, I can't say I disagree. They're trying to run away. But a clockwork might just find one. Hook shot, maybe? bit hard and out of range now. Go for a high ground. The exorcism was used, but it was an arcane rune exorcism, so the cooldown is going to be laughably short. Might even get some use out of this. Nope, they're just gonna, they're gonna push. Thirty-seven minutes now. Legion with the Black King bar. Hey, Life Stealer, how's it doing? Going for Yasha, same thing. Mantis style, whoa! Clockwork with the aggressive lock in there, but he got stunned right away, but the duel onto Mirana. Time to get a <laughs> Lincoln Sphere, I think. Buyback coming out, Naga getting gripped away from this fight. Not happening. Disruptor has the silence in, but PL is ready for round three. Going in to chop this, oh no, doppelganger. No, he gets to sleep for himself, going to juke away. Doesn't want to waste the ages if he doesn't have to risk it. But uh, he does get it eventually. The Mjolnir is there. Mirana shoots pretty fast. Oh no! Overwhelming odds. Takes him out. Disruptor buys back into the game. Tia, Tia is there. BKB for aggressive. And there's the Thunder God's Wrath. He's dropping people low. Legion melts to that one. So there's that. Uh, Bane got a TP away. And the buybacks are there. So they lose three heroes on IGV. That's a big loss to get. And oh, they even juke him back. Never mind. Got the doppelganger to get out of it. Very nicely done though. Good defense, cost them a buyback. I think cost them two buybacks. Yeah, cost them two buybacks. But hey, they help the line. That's what matters. You know, you keep yourself longer in the game. There's a chance that the enemy can slip up, throw. It's the best you can hope for now. And Jatya, building to his Mantis style. Doesn't want to get himself silenced anymore. Also helps with the split pushing. A la Miracle. Boom, there it goes. Here comes Bobuka. His hookshot was really nice, but uh, unfortunately he hooked into the path of an arrow, so he couldn't cog them in and everything. It was Radiant unfortunate. Structures are fortified. Unfortunate. Lightning stun. Nice. See if he gets the cast range. It does seem most likely. Do it with flare. What? Oh, finally got trapped. Heals him again. Right. Let's, uh, let's see what we're looking at here, graph-wise. It's about 10,500. Oh, middle lane. Block hook, maybe look at something. Nah, that's a bit too crazy. A bit too crazy. This will do nicely. Moran trying to get to that level 25. Moonlight Shadow, maybe. Arrow fly? Doesn't find it. But that Moonlight Shadow duration. It's gonna keep things dicey. Moonlights every round. SRF goes into Invis. Yes, the gem. I'll play this one cool. Oh, this could be a potential duel. Is it a potential duel? This is an easy one to get as well. Yeah, he's going in. Maybe he just wants to look for the Marana, but this is an easy duel. Yep, there's the duel. Look at that. Three shots. 128 now. 128! We're getting to level 25 too. Once we get that, it's a 40 dual wind damage bonus. 
So you get 58 per win. Absolutely bonkers. Legion Commander waiting for dual cool off. 28 more seconds. But XXS, I don't think he wants to wait. Without the disruptor, there's a big team fight component that Young Dumb don't have. Here come the spirits, here comes the girls, or rather the butterflies. They're gonna start chipping away. Silence on, on Zeus prevents him from using his uh, lightning as well. Always helpful. Ball comes out. Cute. Ooh, arrow flies, but Wokan nearly reflects, walks into that, almost. Aggressive. Deploys this. Deploys the illusions, making it very difficult. Here comes the Moonlight Shadow, the Nimbus as well. Yule Scepter keeps things dicey. The duel is ready though. Duel is ready, I'm waiting for it. Oh, aggressive. Oh, pops to sleep. Mm, arrow flies, and they land it right into him, and that's gonna be PL taking a fall here. That's nice. They, they duel duel the Mirana. Oh, the heal! And he jukes away. Can he get out of there? Nope. Infest bomb. Never mind. Got too hyped. Q. He's, uh, he's gonna try and run away. Lifesteal has got his number, and so does the Zap. So does the Disruptor. So they get Rex. They take out the Mirana. That's nice. But Legion. Getting some hefty deeps there. 400, uh, oh no, 146. Invisibility. Keeps getting those invest runes as well. Being able to snipe out Disruptor is such a huge thing. And uh, oh, let's look at this. What's up? Disruptor. Got Tia Tia. Hugging together. This is a very odd life stealer build. It's such a rat build. It doesn't really do well much. Uh, do much in the fights. You, know, you don't have those real beefy damage items. You don't have the real solid tankiness as well. You can really rely on your abilities to make a punch in the enemy's armor. Death Prophet has a lot of life, but it's not easy to eat through. And you even have the Nocturne core. A to lens on Zeus. Where's the hex? The blink dagger and the hex and that extra cast range later, that's gonna be very helpful at blowing somebody up. Dire scans. Can he find a disruptor? Radiance top tower is under attack. Top tower under attack, doesn't look like they're defending. It's illusions. But if they deny it, it's money lost. <laughs> Tia Tia still gets it. Uh, botch deny attempt by the Bane. I hear a duel going on here. And there's a song to lock things down. Pops the BKB and gets out of there in time. Oh, wow, look at the damage. Pew 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 pew. The Crystallis. Not a challenge. Yeah, yeah, with the salt cuirass. That one, uh, that one is better, for sure. Gives him armor, gives him attack speed, makes him a better fighter. And all he has to do is steal life from these high health heroes. Pushing forward again, blink away, Ferrari, threading the eye of death there. That's if the monkey king bar, everyone is so stacked right now, got the critical hits as well. Kaido has become quite a powerhouse in this game. Despite the lead being 6 game Victor's way, it doesn't really matter at this stage. It doesn't really matter. It's a small amount in comparison to the stuff they have. Lifestealer could use some of that amount, but he's at 25. 21,000 now. Assault Kuras completed. That's his armor, that's his attack speed, that's a minus armor.
Finally got Wrath coming out again. They're looking for that Aegis. Death Prophet going in. Yeah, I'm gonna be picking this Aegis so fast. And, uh, let's see where the refresh warp goes. Probably to DP. Gonna need that. Are they gonna force a fight out of Young Dum? Does seem like it. Naga. Roshan goes down. Naga not in place to. Invisibility. Regeneration. Building into a Lincoln Sphere now. As expected. Rack it on. Alright, so what's going on here? Some double disconnects. Hopefully they get resolved ASAP. Alright, let's take a look at EXP Bell Graph. Alright, so we, uh, we'll have a little pause here, recollect our thoughts. This game has uh, taken a real slow, slowing down after a while. You know, we had some mad kills in this mark. Now, IG's internet, is it gone? Nope, DP is back. What's happening here? Drop, uh, oh, drop frames, rather packet loss. Do you bar? Packet losses here, 46 minutes in. IG, yoohoo, all of them back. All right, here we go. There we go, there we go. Back into it, back into it. Aggressive, uh, just gonna be pushing in that middle lane. That little pause gave me a little bit of a scare there. I thought we were gonna have to take a nap and come back. What's happening here? Calf and Lucky got himself an Aghanim Scepter. A lot of full heals. Yes, this could, could still be a team fight win. 9,000 is not insurmountable. Shadows take us. Dyer are scanning. Dyer scans just to make sure that high ground is not uh, occupied by enemies. Just yet, rocket gets an extra bit of rocket flare damage. That's nice. I'm trying to clear those creep waves a little bit faster. Do it with flare. Right now, Q. Plop the sentry down. All of them just hiding in their base. They're waiting for that inevitable siege. Dyer's top shrine is under attack. Shrine gonna be brought down. Still left uh, with a question mark. Death Prophet still dropping frames. Alright. G again. Ding ding. Ding ding. Ding ding. Kaidoet now. Alright, Moonlight Shadow cooldown. So this is gonna happen very often now. Dyer's top shrine has fallen. Naga just came all that space. Sending those illusions there. Pushing it out. Oops, clear out the wave here. Here comes Exorcism. They don't wanna stop. They wanna take this tower and they're forcing Young Dumb to fight into them with Aegis on PL. And a refresher shot on Death Prophet. This looks like a simple, simple solution. Arrow to fly. Oh, good bolt! 
but uh, they're gonna be fine. PL is gonna come in, buy some space at the front lines, but oh, this Mirana is just tearing them up a storm. That's him down. Cheese is going to be next, but that Mirana is just strafing hard and fast here. Gotta be really careful. Respect that leap damage. Arrow flying in again. Careful with that. There's the glimpse. They're gonna use that uh, juke away with the doppelganger. Towers low. I'll pop that refresh. Towers in deny range if they want to get it, but I don't think it makes any sense to. Not now, anyway. Then. And the Moonlight Shadow gets deployed. Coming in. Blade Mill, Hyper of Insight, Earner Shadows. Lots of defensive items on this clockwork. Rocket Flare has True Sight. Probably gonna take. Yeah, actually, that's not bad in this particular matchup. The interval is very strong, too. If he wants to pin down that Naga. Acticism grants haste, yeah. Ditch the boots that way. Loaded to the gills. Being able to ditch boots would be a fun solution for sure. That profit. Picks up haste anyway. Nimbus gets cleaned up. Allies disappear. Still waiting for those support to hit level 25, yeah? Plus 7 seconds Fiend's grip duration. Alright, how about I grip you forever? 12 seconds lockdown. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll be fun. Have a tail bird, alright, to deal with uh, Mirana, of course, and to deal with any Lincoln Spheres that might be popping up like we have here. Building to the Daedalus next, though. This, uh... Mirana is having zero chill when it comes to this. Oh, IG. Sitting and waiting. Legion Commander level 24. Give me that dual damage bonus. But probably gonna be lame and pick like a press the attack cooldown. I mean, you never know, you never know. Shadows take us. Players here. Not a more right shadow. Being deployed. Radiance top tower is under attack. Oh. Let's see what uh net worth that we're looking at. Dipping down to 8,000. So it's starting to dip. That part is nice. It's starting to dip a little bit. To get any more opportunities. Aggressive. Got the heart of trust. Uh, you got the spirits. He's got the critical strike. So no crazy doppelgangers. But he's just got to beat away at this tower. Oh, here comes the exorcism though. Here we go, we gotta nuke down the tower. Oh wow, that's a lot of stun though. Sleeps up the Death Prophet, Death Prophet spins herself. Use the BKB and now there's the grip. Locking down Tia Tia. Tia, Tia in trouble, but still quite a bit of crit. Has to be careful, the heal's coming out from the team. Yule Scepter is there, Siphon Souls up, healing, healing. But this is a Death Prophet about to take a fall here. The heals come out, but it's not enough. This Mirana does too much damage, but there's a lockdown here from that Legion Commander beating up Tia Tia now. They have enough of this crap. Mirana buys back into the game though, so they'll have to deal with this a little bit longer. PL falls. There's PL and Death Prophet in the ground, but are they going to be able to get more? Bane is running away. The Thunderstrike is going to hit the clock. Looks stunning for a bit. Oh, that's a Nimbus stun as well. He's not getting out of there. Traps, beams, and zaps. Down he goes. So that's a gem loss. They do get a tier 3 tower and two high profile buybacks here from the enemy. And that's important because when the next Roshan fight swings around, it's going to be important that they get it. And they, that the enemy have no buybacks to cushion their defeat. So if they die again, it's over. Vanish. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Yeah, they were strafing away at this tower. Arcane rune top lane. Can be completely ignored. Mirana doesn't have the Daedalus. Had to buy back for that Radiance one. But she's still going to be pushing into this. Looking 
for a Rex, a counter Rex maybe. Even a forcing a buyback here would be important. Cliff is forced. This is going to melt the tower very fast. There's Moonlight Shadow not buying back. They're giving away the Rex. Okay. Or maybe you're going to wait for Clockwork to go in first. Legion Commander going in, breaks the Lincolns and goes into Mirana. Mirana dying back here is going to be a problem. And the buyback counter attack comes in. Aggressive is angry. He wants something out of this. But are they going to be able to get it? Charging forward. Infest away, Naga. Piecing out of there. Yep, she will get out. There will be no kill. Disruptor. Double damage! That's a dieback of Marana. Can they make something out of this? IG has a chance to close this game right here, right now. Drops the cheese. Radiant's top tower is under attack. This is chance for IG. Uh oh. Uh oh. Kala. We're lagging, fellas. We're lagging. Okay, what's going on here? So we're having some lags. Having some lags. But uh, for you guys just tuning in, IG, they win this, they potentially solve a lot of problems with tiebreakers but if they lose this we have a problem uh, because we might be looking at a three-way tie so it's uh it's it's going to be a really tough one for them to fight they are really depending on this win to steer clear of tiebreakers it's uh ti qualifiers are hard enough as it is You're gonna need some tiebreakers and there we go going in marching in looking for that rex Mirana in the sidelines there yep go chop them with your new wings oh wow that's a lot of damage one zap takes out most of his life. We'll look at the other side of the map. Bottom lane is shoving in, but it's only just creeps. So nothing too nothing too difficult to manage. Arc Lightning doing a massive chunk of damage too. Gotta be careful. The cheese gets popped, the Nimbus gets fallen. And uh, yeah, Ferrari zapping away with those Arc Lightning bolts at 315 a shot. Oh oh! Jump on an illusion. That's a boo boo from SRF. But they do get the Rex. Rex is fallen now. Bobocar probably going to be the sacrificial lamb. He even hooks out of there. Sick plays. But the sleep is going to force them to re engage. Marana is still out cold for another 27 though. Not sure they're going to hold this or are they just going to stick with it? Yeah, I think they're just going to let Legion uh, yeah, duke it out on her own. She's going to run away, maybe. Yeah, not likely. So only one hero lost there. Very nicely done from Bobocar. Covering the escape and. Uh, Keeping things in check, aggressive. Phantom Rush, Doppelganger, Spirit Lance. Lotus Orb, a clever pickup. Put it on the Death Prophet. Zeus has to bolt himself. So, smart little play there. Octarine Core picked up. Oh, this is gonna be painful. Out lightning damage. Pretty insane stuff right now. From sight. Rex was lost here. Moonlight Shadow being deployed. They're checking out Roshan with the Nimbus. It's not up yet. But yeah, it's got heart and an assault cuirass now, so starting to get a little bit more advantages for them. They are now four thousand ahead. And level twenty-five, we got extra sap. Okay, no no grip forever, but uh, extra sap. That's nice. 
aggressive. Oh, I already saw his one. Uh, clockwork, not 25 just yet. Death Prophet, Exorcism Grand Sense, we already seen that. Life Stealer got 2 seconds rage duration, that's a long time to be magic immune. Naga doesn't have it yet. Potom already saw that. Disruptor, what's he have? 10 Grims cooldown, kinetic field duration. Yeah. 8 seconds glimpse. Not bad actually, not bad. Okay. E-Blade now on the Naga Siren. So potentially E-Blading Mirana, but uh, still. It's a lot of damage to contend with. Legion Commander went for the press attack. I told you he's lame. Went for the press the attack. I mean, it, 3 seconds is really good, but... BOO! Oh, this is gonna be bad. Zeus? Zeus? Oh, they hooked in, they missed. Naga's gonna get dual. Oh, four stuff. Dual the Naga. Yep, they're gonna dual the Naga. And she is. The oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Legion! Legion! Bit off more than can she, she can chew. Naga deploys the song, heals herself up for a massive amount. Death Prophet might have been a little bit too hasty. Legion is back. There's the buyback. They're gripping up that life stealer. There is. That E-Blade save him for a little bit. Mirana dropping low. They want to punish this Mirana. But this Zeus is doing a lot of damage in this team fight. They cannot extend this longer than they need to be. This fight is getting spread out all around the place. They lose clockwork. And now they're on the retreat. Lots of low health heroes. Naga, Disruptor, buying back. Bane getting caught out. That's a shot there. Kaido feeling it. They are doing this. Ferrari, late game Zeus, baby. That's a zap. Evaporates that Prophet. He died back. Legion Commander. And the clockwork, the only ones remaining. Ferrari out for the count. This might be a straight end. What? This might be a straight end. <gasps> Looking at the buybacks, they have no way to deal with this right now. Are they going to be able to hold the line? Three heroes. They got to get a fluke duel on Marana here. And even then, I'm not sure they can do it. Wrapping around the back. Marana, they're going to look for that. They have to try it. They're not even bothering Kaido. He's not even going to care. Throws the leap, throws the arrow. The hookshot comes in from the back. Oh man, is this the throw they've been waiting for? Where is that Legion Commander? He's trying to go for the base, what? He's trying to go, you can't outrace this, it's GG! It's GG, Young Dumb has done it. The Glyph is not going to hold the line long enough. There's the song, it's going to sleep things up long enough. It's going to sleep them long enough. Legion Commander, he's doing his best. I don't think that was the play, but he's still trying to stall here. The Mirana is strafing down the throne. Can he sleep the Mirana long enough? Can he? Nope, nope. There you go. It's over. Young Dumb has done it. IG has thrown this game in a 60-minute slot fest. Incredible. Oh, man. And because of that, we might be looking at tiebreakers, guys. We might be looking at tiebreakers. Young Dumb has just thrown a wrench into the works the admins are going to be groaning because we got ourselves a potential three-way tie i could be overhyping this maybe i got the math wrong but young dumb winning here is going to cause some hiccups and wow ig you done goofed that was bad oh man that was uh that was that was bad man that was really bad the naga popping that agony sleep getting that massive regen across the board that very solid play young dumb not giving up even though they're out of the tournament decides to uh, you know throw another throw another final uh, bunch of tacks on the ground there and screw things up for everybody but still keeps things interesting we'll let you guys know in a bit if there are going to be tiebreakers but for now we're going to go for a break i'm going to rest for a bit get some water and uh, if there are tiebreakers there'll be more otherwise uh, we're done for today but uh, thanks for watching guys on life center and i'll see you guys soon or maybe not and we'll be back uh, with the news in about five ten minutes while that means the